It was in 2007 that the World Trade Organization authorized the nation to collect 21 million U.S. dollars in annual damages through breach of U.S. copyright. The decision has given Antigua and Barbuda the right to sell U.S. materials such as films, videos, music, and books without the payment of copyright. But the country has held off on capitalizing this option to maintain the favorable relations shared with the United States. Prime Minister the Honorable Gaston Brown says after over a decade at the negotiating table and with the loss to the country, now at over 200 million U.S. dollars, the country's patience is wearing thin. This matter has gone on for too long to the severe disadvantage of the people of Antigua and Barbuda. It must now be resolved and we are prepared to pursue the remedies as authorized by the WTO in the interests of fairness. The Prime Minister says it's not the preferred option, adding that he will be renewing efforts to amicably resolve the matter with the United States authorities. I'm instructing our ambassador in Washington, Sir Ronald Saunders, who was our ambassador to the WTO when this case was first won in 2004, to renew negotiations with US agencies as early as possible. We are not asking for anything more than that which we have lost and to which we are entitled in accordance with the rules of the WTO. And we hope that the U.S. authorities will agree now to an expeditious settlement. Government commenced the dispute resolution process in 2003 to challenge the United States' total prohibition of cross-border internet gambling services offered by Antiguan operators. The U.S. ban served as a great blow to the gaming sector here, which employed hundreds. Sharice Constant, ABS News.